now multiply by 10 hundred and thousand so multiply by 10 hundred and thousand so what are the rules for this we have to discuss multiplying by 10 moves the decimal point one place to the right multiplying by 10 that means moves the decimal point one place to the right I'll explain 10 into 0 0.389 10 into 0 0.389 so look at this point. So you are going to multiply the decimal number 0 0.389 into 10. So if you multiply by 10, you have to move one place to the right side. One place to the, that decimal point should move one place to the right side. That means, see look at this, 10 into 0 0.389. So this decimal place move to the right direction right right move one place because you here you have how many zeros only one zero so you have to move only one place suppose if we have two zeros you have to move two place to the right if we have three zeros that means thousand you have to move three place to the that, that decimal point move three place to the right okay so this in this place um, you are going to multiply by 10 so this decimal point decimal point move one place to the right that means the answer is 3.89 okay so this point moves to this side so move right side so this point will come after the 3 the answer is 3.89 understood the next one is 10 into again 10 into 3.89 so again you what you're going to do this decimal point move to the right direction so what where where the point will come so 38 after 38 you must put a point then you have to write 9 the answer is 38.9 next 10 into what 38.9 so now this decimal point move to the move one place to the right move one move that is this decimal point move one place to the right so the move the decimal point one place to the right so this decimal point move moves one place to the right that means it becomes 389 this point is well, this point will come here but there is no digits there is no numbers so this point there is no value it will become as a whole number you got it so i'll repeat once again so first 10 into 0 0.389 so what you're going to do with see this point is moves to the next place there is this zero point this zero after the point this point move to the which place which place that is 3 after the 3 it becomes move one place to the right so the answer is 3.89 this point will come what where will where it will come after the 3 you will put the point the answer is 3.89 so again 10 into 3.89 so uh, this move this decimal point move to the moves this decimal point moves one place to the right side so this point will become this point will come what 38.9 after 30 this point will come so 38.9 so 10 into 38.9 so this decimal point move once place to the one moves this decimal point moves once sorry moves de this decimal points move one place to the right okay one place to the right so this decimal point move one moves one place to the right means this point is goes to the after the 9 this point goes after the 9 after the 9 means 389 becomes a whole number so this point will come after 9 389 after you have to put a point but there's no digits so you no need to put a point because it's completely a whole number so next one so multiplying by 100 moves the decimal point two places to the right see i've already told you that means 10 means you have to move only one place to the right okay this decimal point if you multiply by 10 that is if you multiply by 10 uh, what you're going to do if you multiply by 10 so the decimal point moves only one place to the right side okay right direction okay this decimal point move one place to the right if you multiply by 10 but if you multiply by 100 so what you're going to do the move the, this decimal point move two place to the right okay the decimal point moves the moves the decimal point two place to the right okay 100 into 0 0.79 so what you're going to do 100 into 0 0.79 so this decimal point move one place and after second place 
so it becomes where it comes so it comes here so 79.5 so you have to put the point you must put the point after 79 you have to put the point so if you multiply by 100 moves the decimal point to place to the right again 100 into what is the answer 7.95 7.95 so this point this point moves first place then second place so after where it comes after 7 7 9 5 so it becomes what it comes here okay so that means 7 7 9 795 after that you must put a point but not necessary to put a point because it becomes a whole number so now we are going to 100 into what are you going to do 70 what 9.5 so this point is here this is a whole number this is the what decimal part it moves to the two places first place then second place but there is no place there is no number in the second place so what you're going to do you have to write 79 first after that 5 so there is no number in the second place so you have to add extra 0 so 7 that is 7950 this is the right answer for this question that is what I've written extra zero you must add one extra zero because in that place there is no number only one place uh, in, the, in that place uh, there is no number so only one place there is no number so in that place you have to add extra zero that is what the answer is 7950 next is multiplying by thousand moves the decimal point or three places to the right that means moves the decimal point if you multiply by thousand moves the decimal point what moves the decimal point three place to the right three places to the because how many zeros in thousand three place so three zeros that is what you have to what move the decimal point three places to the right side okay so 1000 into 1.97 so you have first write 1000 into 1.987 so this point first point first second then third so it becomes what 1987 this is the answer now look at the sum 1000 uh, into 1.97 so multiplying by 1000 uh, that means so you have to uh, move the decimal points to the right side so move three places to the right 1000 into 1.97 so this point move to the first place and second place and third place so 1987 after that this point will come but anyhow it becomes a whole number so no need to put uh, put the point here so i've told you multiply by thousand means the decimal point move move three places to the moves three places to the right next 1000 into 19.87 so 19.87 that means see this point this point moves to the moves three places to the right this decimal point moves three places to the right first place second place and third place so third place there is no number so you have to add zero so what is the number 19,870 so this point will come here so not necessary to put the point because it becomes a whole number so extra we have to write only one zero next thousand again into what are you going to write 1.9 so that means this point moves again three places first place second place then third place so 19 again so you have to add three zeros but because there is no two digits in that place we have to add two zeros because there is no number that is what we have to add two zeros here because one uh, because in thousand we have three zeros that is what we have to move three places to the right this decimal point moves three places to the right because of thousand because in the thousand three zeros are here so this point moves to the ninth place and after this the first place and second place and third place second place and third place there is no number that is what we have to write extra two zeros that is what i've written extra two zeros the first one extra only one zero and that's all for this sum and that's all the rules and regulation of the multiply by ten hundred and thousand